This short tutorial is about how to set up face recognition in the camera and how to actually add a face in the face recognition camera and how to create a watch list. So everything about the face recognition. Okay, let's see now what we have in our system. So first go to devices and make sure that your camera is face recognition. If you want to know if your camera is face recognition, go to add device and look for your camera in the tree. So my camera is a face recognition camera 52. If you click on edit and video channel, make sure that the face recognition is marked over here. Of course, your camera needs to support face recognition uh, based on our naming rule, the face recognition camera should have FR at the end on the name. Okay, so once you add the camera and your camera is face recognition, you can double check over here on the video channel. Now with DSS-8, this should be automatically done for you. So just click OK. Then in monitoring center, drag and drop your camera into the list. Once you look at the camera, you should have the result over here on the tree. So like this. You see the new face was spotted and it was automatically added over here. This list can be pop up anytime from your cameras and all the data from the cameras which are displayed over here will jump out on the side. The, there's a couple of things what you can do with the results over here. First of all, you can replay the event. For example, I want to replay this event with this crazy guy over here. So just click over here and you see that the video from that event will now replay itself. So everything is working. This is because we want to make the work for the operator very easy and fluent. Now, let's say you want to register some of the face. For example, I want to register this guy because he looks suspicious to me. So I can register him into one of my database. At the moment, you see I have Dahua, Tief and Berlin database over here. So first, let's create some database. Go on the home button in the configuration section and click on watch list. Create a new watch list. Face comparison group, for example, VIP video. You can choose the color, you will see the remark, little remark afterwards next to it. So I got the database created over here and click on add. Now there is nothing over here, no channels are bind, no people, nothing. So first let's bind some channel. Click over here, add some of the face recognition camera, which you have. So for example, I will add both of my recognition camera or I can adjust one, doesn't matter. And click OK. The camera is already added. Click on Next. Choose the face recognition camera for the list. Similarity, I recommend to leave it on 80. So that's the index when we will say like, this is really Roman. And click OK. The camera is here. And finish. So that's how we create actually the watch list. Now I would like to add the person. There are two ways how to add the people into database. One of them is manually click add some name, upload the picture and you are done. The other way how to add the people into database is directly from this monitoring center. When you see the person over here, you can just click add to face database arming. So click choose the list which we just created, VIP video, and click OK. Now some name for the guy. So for example, Roman Roxer, and click on OK. So as you can see, at the moment I have one person in the database and one channel is armed with this database. When we go back to monitoring center, I will turn to my camera once again. As you can see, I was automatically 
discovered over here Roman Roxer was over here with the matching of 96 percent so that's actually how you add the person there is one more thing what you can do with this database and that is creating the rule for example go to home again go to event and select new event now go to video channel scroll all the way down to search for our group which we just created that's VIP video so if someone is coming from this database what should happen on which cameras I will select my camera which is connected to the system link action link video leave even source since this is that camera in case we have more cameras over here again leave even source so all the time on the camera where I appear this camera will pop up so when the alarm is triggered pop up the camera with the mainstream start event recording yes I would like to have some pre-recording time five seconds whole video should be 20 seconds I can trigger the snapshot yes I want to trigger the snapshot from the event source camera I can link the PTZ uh, pop up on the video wall send the email put some alarm protocol and so on and so on select the user who should receive the alarm and click OK now if we will go back to monitoring center and I will appear again in front of the camera you can see the alarm is pop up on my screen I can go to the management and I will see Roman Roxer VIP video was spotted over here you got a live image from the camera you got some video you got a snapshot and another snapshot since I have set up two snapshots for this event okay so that's how you can add the person to the database and reviewing later on thank you very much for watching this video